Hello and welcome. I am your game master, Magnus Specter, and welcome to the Achievement Perfectionist, where we take any game, as long as it's single player, and completely complete it by gathering all the gamer score and unlocking every achievement, including those that are zero. Unless, of course, the multiplayer game has no multiplayer achievements, which, once in a blue moon. This is an achievement difficulty game of 1 out of 10. We'll slowly increase our ranking, getting harder and harder, coming back lower every once in a while when we get new games to throw in there. But today, we might be season finale finishing the Raven Remastered. I am uncertain, but let's go ahead and get started and see what we can do. Alright. We'll see what we can do. Baroness von Tribbets? Are you okay? Hello? Baroness? Hello? <laughs> She's still alive, though, like they said. Her eye just blinked. Adil. What happened? The Baroness. Blood everywhere. But who? I don't know. Inch? Th that doesn't make any sense. Don't move. Zelna, up here. We've got our shadow. Who are you? I do nothing. Me crew. Sure you are. <laughs> Me crew? What are you doing here? Just fresh air. <sighs> sure. You just wanted to get a breath of fresh air. I would have liked it, yes. Zelna, look who we have here. Well, if that's not our shadow. And our stowaway. Were you recently traveling via trunk? I, uh, nothing. <laughs> he claims to be part of the crew. Just wanted to get some fresh air. Oh, sure. And you obviously didn't attack me either, did you? Nope. I didn't do that. The Baroness won't open the door, sir. Understood. Take him to the detention cell, Robert. We'll talk later, my friend. So the gunshot should be happening here in a second, right? I guess not. She was still alive. What is? Did nothing. Inspector Legrand thinks otherwise. Move. But I have... Yep, there it is. Gunshot. I know that. Get moving. Into the cell. Ah. Next morning. Yeah, I know. Of course. He get down here when he was being guarded. What what happened last night? What happened that you were walking around the ship? That you let them catch you? That you endangered the whole plan? That you endangered me? How? I didn't kill anyone. They arrested me purely by coincidence. They'll have to turn me loose in Cairo. I mean, 
Someone was killed, weren't they? I heard a shot. Why won't you answer? I'm having a conversation that you cannot hear. Oh. What happened last night? The Baroness was murdered. Did you? No. If it were up to me, she'd have had an accident in a couple of weeks. Instead, someone shot the old bat in the heart point blank. Are we calling it off? No. Mr. X is ready, and as her surviving representative, I should be able to move about freely in the museum. The old hag's death doesn't change anything. That's wonderful. Uh... How did you get in here? I'm more than capable of finding the entrance to a car. Right, but hold. somebody's... Indeed, it was child's play. It's not as though I had to crawl through ventilation shafts or anything so gauche. So, what do we do now? I could escape, and... Swim yeah. to Cairo. So, I stay here and wait? Pretty much. They'll arrest you in Cairo and question you about the murder. Even if they don't throw you in jail, it'll take days. And if we find the murderer, then they'd have no reason to hold me. Oh, <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you. Hide. Or did he hide? Nervous? I would be if I were you. Except we know I didn't do it. This Zelna chap wasn't part of the plan. I don't like it. He's groping about in the dark. Legrand is the real problem. Still, I'm going to take him out of the picture. How? Dr. Gebhardt killed the Baroness. A clever old man, but not clever enough to keep me from finding out. So you just have to tip Legrand off, and then I'm as good as free. That's I what I thought at first, but then I thought, why waste the opportunity? I put Zelna on the trail of the good doctor. Really? He drive Gebhardt into a corner, and when he lashes out in desperation, he might hit our Swiss friend. Maybe even Legrand, if we're really lucky. You can't do that. The old fella's just doing his job. And Aww, so am I. He cares about Inch. Enough blood has been shed. Inch, no more deaths. Damn, I have to get out of here and warn Constable Zellner. How? I guess this cage is some kind of detention cell for the crew. Yeah, we got that in the last episode. It's not the most impregnable prison in the world, but it's still a problem. Still a problem. Uh, yeah, trust me, I know. I didn't sleep a wink last night. All I could think of was Alex. It's terrible not knowing what happened. She's upstairs looking, uh, neat. <laughs> Ech, they're really spoiling me with this cup of metallic tasting water. <laughs> if I'm really lucky, they'll toss me a few crumbs of bread. Huh. Lock looks pretty modern. Needs a small key, five pins. I could pick it with the right tools. I've already done that once. <laughs> do you want me to do it again? Uh... Like everything else on this ship, the bars and hinges are showing their age, but they're still much too strong for me to kick the door open. Someone should move that board before the nail gets stepped on. That's how we, uh, pick the lock, though, don't you know? The blanket got caught on the nail. That was the plan. A board and a nail. All right. I think it's working. Only one way to find out. <laughs> you are one resourceful, day. kid. Uh. I'll hang it back on the frame. And if I'm lucky, no one will notice my escape. So did he help us? As soon as Constable Zellner and Inspector Legrand are out of danger, I'll slip back into the cell. 
They'll arrest the good doctor, and hopefully they'll turn a blind eye to a poor stowaway. Ha! Huh. Fire still poses a great threat to ships. There are fire alarms, extinguishers, and hoses everywhere nowadays. Indeed. These hoses are pretty versatile. They'll do at a pinch if you can't smuggle climbing ropes into the building you're planning to rob. I suppose. Before I went to London to become Inch's protege, Alex and I drove through the French Riviera in this convertible. It was a wonderful. And that exact. Oh! Because it's Alex's. Alex's. Ah, but this is no time for reminiscing. Good for you. I hope she said There's yes. There's nothing in the car that might help me. Alex is playing her role as Patricia Mayers, and she can't keep anything suspicious with her. What door is there? No, seriously, what door, though? I assume that Deputy Oliver is still standing guard. He inspected the cargo hold this morning. I can't use this exit as long as the deputy is sitting by the door. I have to find another way. What's that up there? Something. Um. A grate. Sunlight shining through it. And above it, a bent pipe. Cool. this whoa heavy everything's a bit bigger and heavier on a ship pulleys included well it is a ship right huh a ring set into the floor you could attach ropes or chains to it it's set into the floor to keep people from tripping over it I suppose uh... The crane is for moving cargo from A to B within the ship. The big cranes in the harbor can't reach the corners of the cargo hold. This could be my way out. Except you can't open it, can ya, kiddo? The bars are welded at four points, and unfortunately, they're not all as rusty as this one. Sad fish. Sure. Hmm. Attached the pulley to the ring. You could hang a car from it if the ship were upside down. <laughs> I mean, sure. I tied the hose to the hook. Ah. Uh. A relatively large steel nail. I pulled it out of the board.
Interesting. Smart boy. Here goes nothing. Not only did it work, it hit me in the face. Louder than I expected. I hope no one noticed. With luck, I'll be able to warn the others about the doctor before it's too late. You all right? <clears throat> that bastard didn't inject the fatal dose. You'll be back on your feet soon enough. I don't remember this. <sighs> Better take it easy while I... Oh, no. Well, this is kind of cool. I'll be right back. I can see Legrand in the saloon. I don't think Gebhard would have gone there. Well, he wouldn't know that he's the bad guy yet, would he? Where are you? I feel like he'd go to the rear. Oh! Can't you just leave me alone? Well, that failed miserably. Uh... That was also close. Stay there. Just relax. Why can't you just leave me alone? It is always the same old story. Come down from there. Why? So you can kill me? I, I don't like killing kill people. Anyone. I think I pack me off to much. an Egyptian prison or an Israeli prison. No. Sure. Why did you kill the Baroness? She. She was her sister. What? I love her. With all my heart, they were Jewish, you know. But I didn't care about that. I hit them when it became dangerous for them. I looked after them. I brought them food. I was a party member. And still, I hit her and her whole family. You risked Wait. your life for a woman you Are you loved, Anne Frank? And 30 years later, you murder her sister? I saw her swollen belly. I was so angry. He was one of them, you know? They just used me. I hit them, brought them food. And in return, right. they laughed about me behind my back. What did I doubt do? that. There are Jews hiding in the basement of the Waldhof. Armed Jews. We have to burn them out. And that's what they did. You had the whole family killed? I am a gentleman. And I expect that others... That... That they... They, they don't... She didn't right. like you and was expecting a child by another man. And that's why you betrayed her. It, it, it was her fault. She shouldn't have cheated on me. I, I, I saved her. I risked my life for her every day for Well, for this is a turnaround months. as to why and he did what he did. Uh, away and became a murderer. I am not. I am... Yeah, well, the dead Baroness in the ship's hold proves the opposite. I had never met her. Back in East Prussia, she was the older sister, the smart sister. She studied art history in New York, tried to get her family out of East Prussia, but I was able to prevent that. You say you loved her, and yet you wanted to deny her and her family a safe life. They were safe. I protected them. It was for their sake that I joined the party. I had contacts. 
I wrapped them in my protective embrace. You didn't let her escape because you wanted to keep her close to you. She sent photos to her sister before the war. She must have recognized me yesterday in Venice. I certainly recognized her. The Baroness that explains why she fainted. Photos. That's true. She couldn't get me during the war. And after the war, I disappeared. Gave myself a new name, a new resume, a new life. I mean, he did still murder her. There she was. About to ruin everything. So, she had to die. I didn't want that. But she gave me no choice. Why did she have to stir up old ghosts? All, all right now. No. It ends here and now. Why do you want Doesn't to Doesn't have yourself? to do. Isn't it obvious? He oh, can't boy. bear his false, hollow life anymore. Who are you? What do you want? A man who understands etiquette and honor and yet is nothing but a coward himself. Who, because of wounded vanity, burdens himself with immense guilt. Don't come any uh, closer. Oh, the Baroness uh. held a mirror up to you, didn't she, Doctor? And you hated what you saw there. So you smashed the mirror. But the sins of the past are catching up with you now, aren't they? No. A skull with empty the eyes full of fear. Stop it. Oh, dear. You really know how to dampen the mood. Well, considering I you're forcing him to kill himself. And you. Aren't you supposed to follow orders? Are you not here to assist me? I won't. That wasn't a question. I don't want any dead bodies. The same old story. You want success, but you don't want to get your hands dirty. Isn't the you never Raven did. famous for that? I do what's necessary. No! No! Wow! No. What is it then? You wanted to jump anyway, or you should at least. Inch! I'm just lending a friendly hand. He's a coward. He needs a bit of motivation. Come on now, chop chop, jump! You are the Baroness's butler, aren't you? I. I did not want to kill your mistress. I could have cared oh, less of oh, what he's gonna oh, say. Nonsense. Forgiven and forgotten. If you don't mind my asking. There must be another solution. Why are you doing this? Nothing personal. Well, that's not entirely true. You're a miserable excuse for a human being, aren't you? But mainly, you're a means to an end. Your death will get Inspector Legrand off our backs. The Inspector? What do I have to do with him? Your letter. The one in which you confess to being the Raven and ah. to killing the Baroness because she so explains how that your rooms. <laughs> That's absurd. Indeed it is. But people will believe almost anything if it's Except suits for them. the press. The constable. Will love it. Bold Inspector Legrand saves the day again. Interviews, medals, urgent telegrams from the capital. Our dear friend won't be able to escape the limelight, and by the time the commotion is ended, I see. I'll be long gone. You can't kill him. Why not? He's a bastard, his death will help us, and he's a witness. If we let him go, we'll both go to jail. All the same, we're not gonna kill him. You got us into this situation. And as long as I'm alive, I won't let anyone be killed in my presence. No. Oh, nice. I have to do the dirty work for you in the museum, so you won't be shooting me or him. I like this. Well, I think this did. is the scene that I will uh, put up. Oh, my. Never sp All right. Well, that's our first achievement. Witness. You have witnessed Dr. Garbart's end. Uh, well, I mean, technically, he did not shoot him, right? But also, um, whoopsie. Well, that was uh, definitely not what I was expecting. All right, so this is uh, Wit 
this. For uh, 15G, bring our gamer score up to 7,065. All right. Very good. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, again, that was very more interesting than what I thought. Well, maybe that's one of the pick ideas. I, I kind of like that idea, so we're keeping that one close to the heart for now. All right. speak to me like that again. Do you understand? I need you to steal the eye, but one day I could be overwhelmed by a feeling of hatred that will make me forget the eye. And there are worse things I could do than simply shoot you. Yeah, push me I off the boat, I know. Go back to your cell. You need to be fit for Cairo. I still have a confession to write. And now we're into Cairo. So we're almost back to where, uh... The story. The end of the Raven. Part of me wants to abandon the whole plan and go back to Europe. You kind of probably should. Uh, and Legrand catches on. I couldn't bear it if something happened to her. I can't afford to slip up. You're a good guy. I like you. Mr. Jamal, I'm glad you could make it. Let's get this over with. Still angry on account of the good doctor? You disgust me. You'll be rid of me in less than two hours, and I of you. Sure. Have you already met your Mr. X? He's counting an envelope of unmarked bills as we speak. He put the blueprints under the statue of... I we'll find out who Mr. X is. A sketch of the museum, not the kind you can get just anywhere. This one shows secret entrances, basements, and attic rooms that the Resistance used during the war. That's what it was about. Get ah. the blueprints. There's a basement below the treasure chamber. The entrance should be marked on the blueprints. Open it and give me a sign. So I wonder if it was... Adela or whatever, or the raven who was talking to Matt. Will there be more deaths here in the museum? If you follow my instructions, no. If people are in danger, I'll call the whole thing off. I don't kill for fun, only when it's necessary. Is it ever really necessary? Sometimes. Revenge, for example. When one has been betrayed. Oh my. And what about Legrand? More shadow. Worked wonderfully. The press has laid siege to the French embassy, and Legrand won't be able to escape them. He should arrive in a few minutes with the safe, and then he'll have to answer ridiculous questions from reporters all afternoon. That's why we're striking now. A That's why necessity. we uh, preferred to make my to the grand press. entrance this evening at the gala. But yes, we will strike as soon as the safe is in the treasure chamber and Legrand has left. What's the next step after the basement? You'll find out when it's time. But... <sighs> All right, then. I'll pay a visit to Imhotep, and we'll meet in the basement. Good monkey. I'm not your oh, monkey. Oh, and by the way, the museum is closed to visitors until tomorrow. Then how... You'll find a way. Well, you're not wrong about that. I bet the craftsmen are nearby. If not in the museum, then somewhere around here. I hope the owner doesn't come back while I'm tampering with the truck. Craftsmen aren't known for their calm, sympathetic natures. Uh, 
Oh, uh, that failed. Locked. The door is closed, and I don't want to break the window. Someone might hear the sound and call the police. Maybe. Interesting. A fire ladder. Maybe I can get into the museum from the roof. The ladder Maybe. is too high to reach from here. I guess they expect people to just fall the rest of the way if there's a fire. There's a tennis ball stuck on the tow hitch. Ah, people do that to protect the hitch and their trouser legs from the grease. You're not wrong. That is true. But you're a bastard. You took the Got tennis it. ball. Yeah, what made you think that you were going to be able to push a truck? Nope. The handbrake is on. I have to improvise if I want to get into the museum. Oh. Are you going to become the penguin now? Oh, nothing. Do I need an umbrella in Cairo? Or could it help me get into the museum? Hmm. I think the second one's more than likely. A rod like that could be useful. Well, bye-bye, Mr. Umbrella. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. I almost can't even see the wire. Hmm. I could probably reach the door lock with the rod, but how's it supposed to catch hold? Sure. I don't want to crawl through stinking sewers just to get into the museum. There must be another way. Probably, but that seems right. Over the drain to prevent people from tripping. I can't make out what's below. Hmm. Maybe I can fish something out of the sewer with the wire. Nothing. I can't even touch the bottom. It was worth a try. Bended wire. Nice. A true jack of all trades. That you are. this wow nice sure I'm afraid the painter discarded the overalls because he didn't want to walk around in sweat-soaked clothes all day no now it's <laughs> just us but what the heck I have no choice a handsome man always looks good and the disguise works I suppose I've seen worse All right. Now I should be able to push the van backwards. Uh. Not easily, though, mind you. Ah, that should do it. Or you just gave up. I think you just gave up. That way they don't notice anything I know. I'm 
glad we could make it. Huh? Not bad. Huh, cold. I'd be surprised if they needed to use it often in this climate. Nothing out of the ordinary. Wait, what's this? What? Someone scratched a triangle into the stone. Oh. Does that mean something? M maybe. Well, Budge, guessing won't get me where I need to be. I need to get the blueprints from Mr. X. According to Inch, they show the secret passages in the building, and hopefully, instructions for getting into them. All right. Sure. There's a small room down there. Should be the museum's treasure chamber if my sense of direction is right. Which it never is. Was I supposed to go over here? No sign of the eye or Legrand. Shouldn't be much longer before they arrive. Wait a tick. I think I know. Because I'm a painter, they should be able to allow me in now, you think. Aw, oh, look at the doggy. Adorable. A dash hound, maybe? Today, the museum is officially closed for preparations for the big... Look at him wag his tail. I think he wants to play. The Sphinx still has two eyes on the poster. <laughs> they need to put an eye patch on it. Who's a good dog? Yeah. Aww. Who's a good dog then? I like dogs. I had a border collie back home. Followed me everywhere. He was very old, but the most loyal friend you could wish for. Hmm. Come on, come on. Can I play? Can I play? Can I play? Come on. Oh, come on. Do this right. Yes! Yes. That might be just the thing. You want it? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Cute. Yeah, you like that, don't ya? Aww. All right, so the, the, the achievement's very simple. We just gotta play with them three times. And that's why we needed the tennis ball. <laughs> good dog. Yeah, you're a good boy. Or a girl. Look at him go. I'm gonna call him Sparky. 
<laughs> Good dog. And there is the achievement. Animal Lover for 15G. I play with the dog three times and I do it again. Adorable. All right. All right, for 15G, bringing our gamer score up to 7,080. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I want to play with you some more, but... The museum is closed today. Come back tomorrow. Or are you one of the craftsmen? What does it look like? Of course I'm a craftsman. All right. Hunnips, hunnips, hunnips. Your company is not on the list. But it must be on the list. My boss told me everything was taken care of. And mine told me that nobody gets in if they're not on the list. Bye. Dick. Whoops. Sure, why not? Well? Who wants to become an accomplice in a burglary? <laughs> yeah, who wants to be an accomplice? Sparky does. What are you doing? Come here, you... Stay away, you flea bag. Next time I'll wring your neck. Even if it costs me my job. You touch the dog, I will wring you. And he's ready to go for you round two. He really, an enemy, pup. he really is an accomplice. I can't believe the dog's ready. Stupid mutt! I'll get you this time. No, you won't. Bye bye. So this is how he gets knocked unconscious. All right. You are playing a dangerous game, my boy. A dangerous game. I did not pee in it. 
I mean, I might have peed in it, but. <laughs> Grandma's this secret. Is my chance. Weren't you just here? I talked to my boss again. He said we must be on the list. Your boss can come and see for himself. There is no Hamid's. Uh-huh. Mm. My co-worker's handwriting. I can hardly make out a single word. Of course. Hamid's, Hamid's, Hamid's. Ah, yes. Here. Here, put this on. Ah, many thanks. Uh. All right. The author's companion. She seems to be waiting for something. Maybe she's waiting for the safe, too. Hmm. I wouldn't have thought she'd be so interested in the jewel. No, she's interested in the guy. The eye hasn't taken its place in the treasure chamber yet. I'd better not show my face there. The room is under video surveillance. True. I'm curious what points of entry Mr. X's blueprints will reveal. I think Inch paid dearly for it. He certainly seems to expect a lot from it. I better stay away from her. There's always a risk that someone observant might recognize me, and I bet that the lady is a very good observer. Imhotep. Oh, right. wonderful! I've got the blueprints, and since I'm a craftsman, it won't seem suspicious if I study them. I mean, I suppose, but look at that. There's another room beneath it, and here's the entrance, somewhere near the statue. And there seems to be another entrance that. What are you doing there? Huh? Oh, it's you. What's going on? And what happened on the ship? Lots of things. I'm supposed to get these blueprints and open a secret entrance to the basement beneath the treasure chamber. A basement under the treasure chamber? I didn't That's know about what it that says. before. Inch somehow heard about it, and Mr. X took care of the rest. What's he planning? I don't know. I don't like it. Me neither. About the ship. I was able to stop the doctor. What happened to him? Inch. You mean he... There was nothing I could do. I tried. The blueprints show the basement below the treasure chamber and two entrances. One of them is over there, but it seems to be closed. And the other? It's on the roof. And there are stairs from an attic down to the basement. And how yeah, are you supposed right. to get into the attic? <laughs> That's the question. There's a small triangle here on the roof, with three numbers next to it. Three, six, six and, and two. two. All Some right. Kind of code. I'll have a look around. It'll be okay. I wish I had your confidence. It's time for the grand finale. Don't you agree? Take care of yourself. You too. A plan always seems much easier when you're just talking about it, doesn't it? Yes, but not half as exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I have to open the door to the basement. Let's go. The secret entrance to the basement must be behind the statue. It's well disguised. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gone undetected for decades. And yet Matt sees it, huh? I can't see anything. No cracks, no handle. 
I won't be able to open the door. I mean, that's the point of a secret passage, I'll right? Try to get in through the roof, then take the stairs to the basement and have a go from inside. We'll go this way so she doesn't see my face as well, even though I don't think it matters. All right. Hmm. The secret passage is somewhere around here on the blueprints. And so is the triangle scratched into the stone. Well, we found that. All right. So... Maybe two... Uh, six... Very good. Three. <laughs> there we go. The digits are written from right to left. In this part of the world, they read from right to left. I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I'm in the museum. Well, sort of. It's a start. The electrical cables don't seem like they were meant to be permanent. Probably, they secretly tapped the museum's electricity. Maybe the bulb still works, but it's bright enough in here already. For now. There's enough light shining through the holes in the roof. I don't need to turn the lamp on. Old technical equipment. Inch said something about an underground that operated here in the museum during the war. Sure. Could have been a radio installation. Would have been the perfect place for it. So high above the city. That's tar paper, I think. Maybe it's for covering all those holes in the roof. A Maybe. big, heavy roll of rough tar paper, probably put there decades ago and then forgotten. According to the blueprints, the stairs lead from the attic down to the secret basement. Those are some long ladders, then, huh? Pitch black in here. Yeah, it's not great. All right, that did unlock our next achievement, though. Discoverer for 15G. You have found the entrance to the secret basement. For 15G, bring our gamer score up to Maybe, uh... Mm. Alright, let's 
examine the switch. Here we go. I think it's nothing. Nope. Explains why it's still dark in here after all this time. Uh, the lamp was removed. You can still see the holes that the screws left. Oh. The cable was cleanly severed. <sighs> oh. Yeah, it's a long trek, isn't it? I don't need artificial light up here, but it had come in handy in the basement. It doesn't make sense to just take the bulb. I didn't even see a socket in the basement. Uh. Oh. I should be able to remove the insulation with this knife. Sure. And the long trek back down. Okay, plus and minus are exposed. Okay, I'll twist the wires from the lamp cord together with the wires from the electrical cable. Again, that's pretty smart. The lamp hangs from the electrical cable, which leads to the light switch. As long as there's a current, I should have a source of light now. You hope. Let there be light! Nope. You still Damn. failed. I think the contact is dirty. That's a thing. Uh, I was right. The lower contact is coated with rust. But wasn't it working out there? Uh, and sooner or later, the bulb will burn out. They're smart. <laughs> I'm going to kill you with exercise, aren't I? Hmm. Maybe I can... Yes, I can use it to rub the rust off. Guess that makes sense. That should do it. Poor guy. He's probably going to get all his pentameter steps in in one day. One more try. Well, if not, you're going to have, like, sore, sore legs for sure. There we go. Dang. If it wasn't so dusty, I could easily imagine someone had been using it. What kind of stories could this room tell? About desperation, anger, triumph? According to the blueprints, there's supposed to be a secret door here leading into the main hall. Huh. This must be the locking mechanism. Ah, this is where Matt this heard him. Now? What the... What are you doing here? What if Inch sees you? Kind of already did, apparently. No. I'm sorry. He... caught me. Of course. You and your little girlfriend. 
You thought you could go behind my back? I was hoping. Uh... Inch, no. You deserve to die, here and now. But then I wouldn't get the eye. Don't hurt her, please. We'll see. Get moving. Ah, ah, ah. This is great. And now? Well, that explains Cover the handcuffs. The which no, also means she Patricia. gets out or no, something. No, no. Enough! You have one and only one chance of getting out of this alive. Do what I tell you to do. Tie her to the chair. Please don't hurt her. I beg you. The handcuffs, now. You can put the gun down. I won't try anything. I could choose to believe you, or I could keep the gun pointed at you and know that you won't try anything. If I mean, so kind. <laughs> that is the way to do it. Try to overpower him and tie him up, I wish. I'm sorry. Now I feel bad. Uh, I love you. Look at her. Remember this scene? If you try to screw me, then... <laughs> What's the next step? What's the plan? Everything you need is in the bag. The eye will be delivered at any moment. You abseil from the roof into the treasure chamber. And the display case's alarm system? The alarm will go off, but I'll ensure that the only effect will be that the security barricades in the treasure chamber close. Makes How will you sense. manage that? Let me worry about that, just like the guards. You'll have several minutes to break into the display case and climb back to the roof. How did you find out about our plan? By chance, I must admit. I hadn't anticipated it. I didn't think that so you would up my trust for months just to betray me. You have to be patient if you want to steal the eyes of the Sphinx. A virtue youth normally lacks. It's a pity we have to go our separate ways after this little incident. I can hardly wait. If we do everything you ask, will you let us go? I'm a poor loser, but a generous winner. Right. Please, go. You've got me. A fascinating young lady. Clever, skillful, beautiful. What's she doing with a chap like you? Are you we sure love you're one not another. just a pawn in her game? Let her go. As soon as you bring me the second eye. How am I supposed to break into the display case? It's protected by bulletproof glass. You'll find everything you need in the bag. A clever fellow like you will know what to do with it. I and suppose. And once I have the jewel, what next? By the time I get back to the roof, the museum will be surrounded by policemen. Correct. Escaping from the museum is impossible. That means I stay inside the museum. There's a bag in the basement with food and water for you and your girlfriend. I'm sure you'll find a way to pass the time for a couple of days. The police will search the whole city for the eye, but not the museum. And once the museum's open to visitors again, Patricia and I will walk out through the secret door in the main hall to our freedom. I'll be watching you every step of the way. You'll deliver the jewel, mm. and then we'll never see each other again. The plan might work, I must admit. The plan will work. You'll see to that, or she'll suffer the consequences. Let's go. The clock is ticking. I have hmm. to take care of the guards and the alarm system. It'll all work out in the end. I know. Take care of yourself. 
If you should open this door without the Eye of the Sphinx in your bag, I'll shoot first and then ask what went wrong. That sounds good. Uh, dick dick. You're not planning on letting us go, are you? I need a scapegoat. Otherwise, the traitor would already be dead. He doesn't understand because he doesn't think like you. You messed with the wrong man, and now you have to suffer the consequences. Wow. <sighs> I can't stop thinking about her. I don't blame you. I must. I have a job to do, and it won't help either of us if I'm not totally focused. Yeah, except... Climbing equipment, including a rope, a cloth bag. Huh? A pack of gum. Why did Inch put a pack of gum in a cloth bag? Again, That's he all. said we were resourceful enough to Climbing figure it out, so... A pack of chewing gum. I'm beginning to feel under-equipped for this burglary. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to improvise. There's nothing else in the bag, and I don't need the bag itself. This is the same climbing equipment that I wore for the burglary in London. Only the mask is missing. Does Inch ah. want to make sure that the security cameras can see my handsome face? That explains why he looks kind of cool. I mean, no one's going to see me strip up here. And if they do, well, uh, problems. A good rope, and more than long enough to abseil down into the treasure chamber. I can see the treasure chamber. There are several people moving around down there. I think the eye is being delivered. More than likely, we've got to be catching up to the... Open. Where Must we were. <laughs> for the window washers and maintenance crews when they have to work up here in the cupola. Huh. There's a mechanism that opens the window when you turn the crank. Huh. I see two contacts down there on the frame. There's a piece of metal stuck between them and fixed to the window. If I open the window, the piece of metal will move, breaking the circuit and setting off an alarm. Unless the guards have been notified beforehand, which is hardly an option in my case. I have to bypass the circuit. Somehow I have to get at the contacts of the alarm system and override the circuit. Only then can I open the window safely. Yeah. A crank. Something for opening windows that are too heavy to move with your hands. Your new home. My pocket. Even though I didn't put it in the pocket. Only one piece left. Hmm, what's this? Unless this is the most expensive chewing gum commercial ever, Inch wanted me to find the diamond. I'm sure Thank you didn't try to eat the diamond. Work. I can't cut any of the windows out of the frame, but this window has a rubber seal on the bottom and the sides. The roof of the museum is now officially drafty. Yes, the aluminum foil might bypass the circuit. You hope? No, that's darn tight. I can override the contacts with the strip, but I can't... Oh, oh, damn! I lost the strip! Wow. It would never have worked anyway. The gap was too small. Without a seal, 
there's a one or two centimeter gap below the window, just enough to slip a couple of fingers through. That tarp is covering something. Neat. <laughs> Bucket, rags, squeegee, tools of the trade. I like his outfit. Window washers. Probably didn't feel like carrying their equipment up to the roof every time, so they stashed it here. Makes sense. I don't need the squeegee. The bucket? Not really. This rag, on the other hand, I could wipe away fingerprints with it. Every time I don't have the knife with me, I need it. Does this mean that I won't need it, since I have it with me this time? Ah, uh, no, because you obviously. Maybe the tap is meant to depressurize the water tank if it rains too much. Or it's just a practical way for the window washers to get some fresh water up here. Could be either or. Oh, cold, dripping wet. I'm not putting it in my pocket like that. Sure you are. Uh... Okay, I'm in. And now back and forth and away we go. Got it. The wet rag is lying on the contacts. So by all rights, it should open it. Excellent. No alarm. Neat. Okay. I don't see anyone. Look what it is. Such an attempt would fail here. All the right, so we're about to blow it up. To the we're floor, almost there then. Several hundred kilograms. What's that? A camera? The latest model. It's called video surveillance. I've heard about that. The images are recorded and can be viewed again later. That's right. Images from all three cameras are recorded in the card room. Wow. As I've said, we've spared no effort and no expense. I think I've seen enough here, but I'm interested in something else. So go ahead and save here because apparently there's an achievement that may not unlock. We want to make sure we unlock them all without having to replay the game or something like that. Yes. All right. The camera covers the whole room and I don't have a mask. You do not. I have to deactivate it, but how? Just have to hope that Inch knocked out the guard in the guard room. If not, he'll be on his way to check the camera soon. Here True. goes nothing. The camera is no longer a threat. Now or never. All right, so that's one achievement. Climber. 15G, you have climbed, you have upselled to the treasure chamber. At least that's what they're calling it.
All right, see you then. Another 15G, bringing our gamer score to 7,110. So what do we do next? Let's see. Yeah. Someone could come back any moment, and then I'll have another problem. I need to hurry. As a visitor, I'd only have eyes for the jewel. As a burglar, though, I'm more interested in the bulletproof glass. Why is that? an inch thick. There's no glass cutter that could do the job. Isn't that what the diamond's for? All right then. Bulletproof glass. How can I get past it? Okay, fine. I'm just going to use of it. Of course. Diamonds cut glass. And even bulletproof glass is softer than a diamond. But the diamond is tiny. I can barely hold it. And I need to do more than just scratch the glass. Every time I don't have the knife. Yeah, let's do that first. Even if I can't break into it, at least I managed to deface it. I mean, I don't think that's what's important, but okay. I'll press the diamond into the chewing gum with the tip towards the window. The chewing gum holds the tip of the diamond right on the bulletproof glass. That's promising. Sure it is. This cordon doesn't apply to burglars. Makes sense. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. No, it won't. No, no! He wants to lock me in. But why? He doesn't have the jewel yet. What is he... Oh, no. So he figured it out. <laughs> Oof. Amazed that he figured oh. it out. Oh, my head hurts. Oh. All right. We got the achievement that did supposedly have problems unlocking. Walking Dead. You have survived the explosion in the treasure chamber. So that's how he survived it. Neat. Although at the same time, that's... Really good that he did figure that out. Otherwise, we would have had a big problem. Uh, Alright. Walking Dead. 15G, bringing our gamer score up to 7,100. Uh, and 25. Um.
The sarcophagus protected me from flying debris. <laughs> the ancient Egyptians knew their stuff. Yeah, they did. Constable Oliver, he's totally focused on the hole in the floor. I guess. He's up there, Robert. I know it. Maybe. Go to the guardroom and open the gates. Tell the director. Zelna, don't do it. It's too dangerous. I've got everything under control. Sorry, Constable. He's unconscious. He'll wake up with a headache in a few minutes. There is no other way. Everything's destroyed. Priceless works of art, centuries old. Nothing is sacred to Inch. This is the opposite of a clever burglary. Inch must have decided to do it the violent way as soon as he realized he couldn't count on me. I would have died in the explosion and been the scapegoat. All right, so they do tell you to save again because there is a ton of achievements that are about to unlock. We're pretty much at the end of the chapter. So, or the episode and the game actually, and we'll climb into the hole. How did you do and now it? we're back to where How we did were. How you plant the message on the safe in the train? How did you know that Gebhardt killed the Baroness? And the demolition charge below the treasure chamber? How... How did you manage it all? Even if your arm isn't lame? Oh, it is, believe me. I needed help, it's true. A messenger boy to replace my arms and legs. A messenger boy? Ah, adieu. This could be interesting. He's quite talented, but unreliable. He has a mind of his own, his own plans. Don't you, Adil? I never wanted blood to be shed, but it's time to make an exception. Hmm. Yeah, he that didn't work. I forgot one thing. I keep things firmly in hand. Always. End of story. Oh my. Wait. Oh my god! Stupid little policeman. He, he really did have shoot him. With the raven. You aren't the raven! The raven would never have shot a defenseless old man! No, he wouldn't have. But now he has. At least that's what everyone will think. So you're Why not the raven? That matter? Who are you? We worked for him, for the raven. My brother and I. He's responsible for my brother being shot and for my triple. Ha! Ah, he, he wasn't the raven. Us. I'm glad. Who? Who is the raven? I don't know. I never met him, and in all these years, I've never found him. You don't know who you worked for? No one knows who the raven is. Some say he's dead. The fact is, he never returned to the stage after that. Fatal night in Paris. So you want to lure him out of hiding? And if anything can, it's the burglary of the century the executed by another thief while using his name. Hmm. He doesn't come. But I still got my revenge. The gentleman thief, now a bomb-throwing murderer. Oh, I do hope he is still with us. So Watching is the constable really? I yeah. ruin his life's work. As he why am I starting mine? to think that Enough, the constable up. is I'll the raven? But, but why? Your little girlfriend escaped, and if I can't eliminate all the witnesses, I can at least destroy their credibility. Why did you just shoot poor Constable Zelna, lad? They'll hang you and your accomplice. You know there's no bullets in there. <laughs> Come on. Zellner's gonna get up, isn't he? He is the Raven. I'm waiting for it. You've met your match, Raven. You hear me? Wherever you are, I beat you. Except you didn't. Good evening, Mr. Inch. The eyes of the Sphinx, if you would be so kind. 
You? That's impossible! The jewels, now! La Grand. I felt like Lagrange could have been. Don't move a muscle. You're under arrest. <sighs> oh well, now he's dead. See, Lagrand would have been a grand raven. I don't know if he was. Now it'd be cool. The constable. I still feel like it could be him. Oh, come on, we got. Unless there's a sequel to this, we have got to be shown who the Raven is. A master thief who stole two cheap fakes and then fell to his death. A shot that no one could explain. But for the newspapers, it was the real jewels that were the heart of the story. The eyes of the Sphinx, reunited in the Egyptian Museum. What kind of game is this? The Raven's game. Uh, at least you caught him. Um, again. I saw the surprise and the anger in Inch's eyes. He knew he'd been played. You don't mean... At first they wanted us to believe that it was Gephardt. And now we're supposed to believe that it was Inch. He's still out there. So then, who is the Raven? The Constable. It's gotta be. Have we been playing as the Raven the entire time? Uh, I mean, to start with. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Hello there, handsome devil. I'm glad they got a happy hey ending. There, pretty lady. Don't! My father will be here any moment. Wait, is your father the raven? Did you tell him about our engagement? She did. I almost slipped out of character. Oh, Daddy. We all know oh that. Oh, my would God, never it is. Him. You were Anton Jakob Zellner through and through, even with the world crashing down around you. Didn't go too badly, did it? Well, Inch nearly blew us up, and I was almost charged with murder. Ah, yes. Exciting, wasn't it? I haven't had fun like that since I retired. Dr. Gebhardt nearly killed you. Nobody could have suspected the doctor. At least we managed to clear things up quickly. I would have preferred it if things went according to the old plan. We would have swapped the jewel aboard the ship, and Alex wouldn't have been kidnapped by Inch. And I'd have preferred it if you hadn't given me a nasty bump on my noggin. And what would your excuse have been for staying on board if I hadn't? Hey, I improvised. Hmm. Good point. I was afraid Inch would realize you were wearing a bulletproof vest. He was too confident. After he foiled your plan, he thought he had everything under control. So he never really took a look at the emerald in the display case. He just assumed that they shipped the real jewel from Switzerland. And after my little tussle with Inch, we had both jewels. He blew half the museum to smithereens just to steal a fake. He was always rude and insolent. I never should have worked with him. His double dealing cost his brother's life. And his own as well. I'd still rather see him in jail than in a morgue. See, there's the raven I'm talking have messed about. with the raven. To your retirement. To the future. Bravo! I didn't really expect him to be the Raven, but a part of me did expect him to be the Raven. Or at least remember when I'm like, oh, wouldn't that just be funny if we were playing as the Raven? He's gonna piece it together now, isn't he? Finally. His heart meds, right?
dear Nico, oh, I love this extra the ending. is dead. Yet other criminals live, and they are more brutal and ruthless than he ever was. Who will stop them? It would be tragic if a good policeman failed to do so because he was hunting for a dead man and ruining himself Aww, in the process. Let the dead rest in peace. They're they are not, not coming, coming back. Are. <laughs> oh, he was going to sleep. They were caffeine pills, weren't they? He's going to sleep. He finally is letting a dead man rest. You know. I'm a big fan of this ending. That was good. This was good. I liked it. All right. So we have one achievement. Oh, boy. We have a lot of achievements. Oh, boy. That's three. That's four. And that's five. That does complete the game too I ironically all right so we have quite a bit of achievements to uh, put in there so I'm hoping Mark Hamill was who I think it was but we're gonna go ahead and oh God write down a lot of achievements We'll talk about the game, the difficulty, and all that here in just a few moments. Am at sure. D. Detective, which was 15G. Yes. Awesome, but don't forget episode three because I seem to have a problem remembering that crap All right, that should bring our gamer score to seven thousand one hundred and forty I believe uh, Again, my math is not to the greatest and who boy if um Again, I will say, I really did enjoy that. Sad that there's no, um... Oh, what is it? That there's no music, but it is what it is. So amateur becomes advanced. Not advances. Uh, advanced. All right, that becomes... 30G. Now, if we do happen to miss the the... Who played who? I'm going to go look to see if there's anybody famous because I am curious. All right, so that brings us uh, uh, with with Advanced Detective for Episode 3 at 30G. Brings us to 7,170, I believe. All right. Mm. 
Yes. Oh. Oh, no. I think we did miss it, didn't we? I think that is German. Ah, we're going to have to check it. All right. Well, regardless, even if we didn't miss it. Advanced becomes master uh, detective. Uh, episode three, which is 85. Uh, Okay, okay, maybe this is the English. Neil McCall, don't know. Alex, all right, nope, Carrie Shale. I don't, I don't know if I know any of these guys uh, or gals. All right, so uh, Master Detective, <laughs> 85G, oh boy. All right, it should be 7,255, I believe. Okay, we're going to... Gonna try this one more time before we do, all right? Yeah, I believe I believe that is right. It's a little bit harder to Wow, only eight thousand five hundred? That kinda was a short chapter too, wasn't it? Well, even if we have screwed up on the gamer score, we'll have the full amount once I get to the last achievement. <laughs> oh, boy. Oof. All right. Let's... All right, after that, we got the last bonus content, which was music, which unlocked Completionist. Ah, nice. For 30G, you have unlocked all bonus material. So let's go ahead and mark that down next. P-L-E-E-T-I-O-N-I-S-T -E 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 for 30G. All right, C-O-M-P-L-E-T-I-O-N-I-S-T. -E -E yep. 30G, bringing the gamer score up to 7,285. Uh, hi, hi, hi. All right, and the final achievement, 
should have been the Raven. 90G. You have successfully finished the Raven. So let's go ahead and put that. The Eaven. Nah, pretty sure it's the the Raven. Which is 90G. Bring our gamer score up to 7,375. Uh, either way, we've uh, found our way back. All right, so now uh, we have to complete the game. Uh. All right, we'll copy that. We'll go back. Go back to Twitter one more time. Uh, all right, so we have um, the Raven uh, remastered. Uh, one thousand out of one thousand gamer score achieved for Xbox One and uh, seven games mastered and fully gained. I'll ever make it back up. All right, so this is what we have. Secret solved, 5, 8,500, was minus 0, minus 0, 8,500, masterly. So, as a game, I really liked it. Yes, it was a point and click. It's been like what we normally have been used to, but I liked the ending. I mean, they kind of, I don't know, it's hard to say. So, I don't think they need to have another one. Um, unless, like, Legrand and him teamed up and they were actually, they knew who each other were, 100%. But, um, I mean, they kind of did, but he didn't know. <sighs> Like, I kind of felt like the butler was the, the raven at first. But then a part of me at some point was like, wouldn't it be hilarious if it was Zellner? And it happened to be. But all in all, I liked how it went. Good game. Definitely think it's a must play. As for achievement difficulty, do I think it's a 1 out of 10? Mm. I guess for the most part, as long as you, like, pay attention and do everything, I might... I might rank it a 2 out of 10, but we're going to go ahead and stick it as a 1 out of 10 because that's what most people put it under. So that leaves this here. Let's go ahead and continue the game. See if... Nope. All right. So, I mean, there's extras. What do we have? Concept art, artwork, soundtrack, Raven and Concert. Neat. All right. So, ooh, actually, actually, do we have a Raven? Oh, I wanted to see the Raven in full. All right. So that'll leave this game series here. 
I would like to thank everybody for joining me in the Raven Remastered. I hope that this episode, any of the episodes for the Raven Remastered, has helped you gain any achievement that you were looking for and or completed the game 100%. Or any of the games we've played so far into the seven that we played. Tomorrow we'll be back with the... Well, no, we won't be back tomorrow with the eighth. I do apologize. There will not be an eighth episode tomorrow. Uh, I don't think. We'll see. But I do have a con that I'm going to. We'll be dressing up. Um, I'll talk more about that in the posts tomorrow or the day later. But if you want to see me for what I really look like, sort of, and stuff like that, you'll be interested to check out the Facebook and the Twitter Remember, my perfectionist community, keep perfecting. But at the end of the day, have fun with the game and enjoy it. Enjoy that the game has good gameplay elements or story or anything like that. Until then...